What is up guys? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So it has definitely been a minute since I last put out a video guys and my sincerest apologies for that. I have just been extremely, extremely busy. But anyways, let's get back to business. So you guys asked for an SD to Vita tutorial and despite the fact that there are plenty of other videos out there, you guys wanted me to make one for you. So I will take that as a compliment and absolutely make one for you guys. All right, so let's jump into this guys. So you wanna use a micro SD card with your PS Vita. How do we do that? It's pretty easy. So obviously first what you're gonna need is a PS Vita. It could be any flavor that you want, white, black, or blue for those of you guys who like the blue color. And it could be any model. So it could be the fat one, it could be the skinny one, although this isn't very skinny with this case. Once you have all these, you need one more thing. It's this guy right here. This is the actual adapter that you're gonna use with your micro SD card. So your micro SD card goes inside this adapter and this actually goes into the game cartridge slot on your PS Vita. Very easy to use, nothing super complicated. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All the links to the files that you're gonna need are in the description of this video so you guys can follow along as I do it. I'm gonna try and keep this quick and short. Anyways guys, let's jump onto the computer and take a look at how that goes right after this. Okay guys, so we are on my computer. Now what we're gonna do first is go ahead and download a couple of files here. So the first one you're gonna need is called the auto plugin. The link is in the description below. You wanna go ahead and download the VPK file that's here, the latest one, which is 3.85. It's actually only five days. So you can see I've already gone ahead and downloaded that. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to download is Win32 Disk Imager. Okay, and what we're gonna do is use this to actually write an image, like it says here, to an SD card. So we're gonna actually use this to prep our SD card. So go ahead and download, follow through the entire instructions. Of course, I already have this installed, so I'm not gonna do this. And if you don't know how to do this, then I can't help you. <laughs> it's pretty basic. Go ahead and follow the install tutorial for that. And then last but not least, what you're gonna need to download is this file here. It's called zzblank.image. Um, just click download. Again, I already have this here. And just to keep everything neat, I went ahead and put all this stuff in a file called, or a folder called PS Vita Homebrew, which already has a lot of stuff in it. So there's auto plugin, there's easy blank, and there's Windows 32. Now I've already downloaded and installed Win32 Disk Imager and that's actually gonna be a key component that we're gonna use. So first things first, now that you've got all your files downloaded, what we wanna do is head over to the drive. So you can see this is the 128 gigabyte memory card that I put in. So effective showing 119, you wanna leave this to XFAT, you wanna turn your allocation size to default and you wanna just give it a quick format. Don't worry about giving it a volume label just yet. This is the first step that we need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and go away antivirus. Okay, so now that this is formatted, the next step that we're gonna do is actually put an image on there. And that's where that ZZ image file comes in. So let's look up Win32 disk image. Okay, so you wanna make sure it's selecting the USB drive. In this case, I need to make sure that drive letter J is the one and it is. Removable disk drive is J. So it's like on the right one, we wanna go and pick that file. So in download, I have PSV to homebrew and inside here is the ZZ blank image. We'll go ahead and open that up and we're just gonna click right. We're gonna click yes, right successful. You could see that was pretty quick. Exit out, go back into your folder, into this again. And once you click on the drive, it's gonna ask you to do a format again. So we're gonna do a format one more time. We're gonna do the same thing that we did last time. We're gonna make sure we select everything to default. And now this time you can label it whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this Vita 128, oops, 128 GB. And that is pretty much it. So at this point, your micro SD card is now ready to use with your Vita. Now for the folks who were not paying attention or if I didn't mention this before, you need to have a PS Vita that's hacked to do this. And you need to have Vita Shell installed in order for any of this stuff to work. If you guys don't, you can go ahead and click on this little button here, and that should show you how to hack your Vita if you are running anything less than a 3.69. I will show you exactly what to do and you guys can do it. Um, if you have any questions, of course, reach out to me in the comments below. So now what we need to do is actually I got to go back on camera. I got to show you the steps that we got to take with our PS Vita. And we're also going to have to connect that via USB to our computer or an FTP, whatever makes sense for you, and do a couple of steps there. So let's go and take a look at that. So back on the Vita, what you're going to want to do is open up Vita Shell. Make sure you have that ready and you're going to select connect to your computer. So in this case, 
we're gonna go ahead and connect the system to a PC using a PC cable. So now let's head back over to the PC. All right guys, so I have just plugged in my PS Vita into my computer and you can see that it pulled up here, USB drive F. What we wanna make sure we can do is see our hidden items. If you don't see that here, you can go into the options and kind of dig for it here in the view file. Make sure you click show hidden files and folders. And that's gonna be pretty key when you're gonna be copying stuff over. But in this case, the only thing I wanna do is not transfer all my data yet, but we will do that in the next step. So anyways, let's go ahead back to the file that we downloaded originally. It's in our downloads folder, homebrew, and we have that called autoplugin.vpk. You wanna copy this and bring this down into your root folder and just click paste. Once that's there, now you can pretty much install this app. Now at the same time, what you also want to do, like I mentioned before, is you wanna make sure that your Vita and your the micro SD card that you're using has all the stuff that's currently stored on the memory card or the internal storage, depending on which one you're using, and copy all that over. All right, so you can see this is it here. We're gonna take this, we're gonna press Control A, Control C, and we're gonna Control V it here. Now, depending on how much stuff you have, this could take a long time or it can't kind of just depends. So as you guys can see here, mine says it's going to take about 22 minutes to do six and a half gigs. I will let this finish and then we will come back and I'll show you guys what the next steps are from there. This is really easy. So far, so easy, right? Let me know, guys. All right, it is finally done. It didn't take the full 22 minutes, only took a few minutes. But if you get this pop up that says replace the files in the destination, go ahead and click yes. Let it replace. So at this point, now our 128 gigabyte Vita memory card has all the original files that our first one did and just disable the hidden items view because you don't wanna accidentally delete something by mistake. And you can see we have auto plugin.vpk stored on here as well and all the other stuff I had in general. If we do a side by side, you can see they're pretty much the same. All right, so we are done with the PC portion now, fortunately, and we can move over to the Vita and start taking a look at the next steps there. So let's head over there and I will show you guys what's next. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is put your memory card into your SD Vita adapter. Now we're gonna take this and put it into the actual Vita and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have my Vita here and you can see the cartridge slot on top, just like that. The card sticking out. Plug it in, and boom. Now your Vita card is in there. Now you should be able to open up Vita Shell. Again, go to start. You wanna go into UXO, and you should be able to see that thing that we downloaded, which was called autoplugin.vpk. You wanna go ahead and install that, click yes. It should install right away. Click yes again, okay. Now that we got that installed, we can back out of Vita Shell and you should see it bouncing up and down happy right there. Auto plug-in. Let's go ahead and run this bad boy. All right, and see, this is pretty straightforward so far, isn't it guys? Oops, okay, so we wanna look at plugins for the Vita. We wanna do install plugin for SD to Vita. Click X, proceed with caution. It says it's been installed. Now you can see these options here. So it's saying my official memory card is gonna act as UMAO. And UMAO is just your secondary storage. It's not your primary. My primary is UXO, which is the SD to Vita. Now I'm using a PSP 1000 model, so I don't have internal storage, but if you use the slim, like the blue one I have, you could select that to be secondary instead if you don't have a memory card that's original. But anyways, that is pretty much it. So you see here, it says press triangle to save your changes. We'll go ahead and do that. Press okay. And it should ask for a restart. Sorry about the shaky footage, guys. I am trying to hold this as best and as stable as I can in my hand in front of the camera, which is on a tripod, unlike me. Yay. Okay, so here we are. Now let's, since I'm running a soft version, I have a hack, this is not 3.65, this is 3.68. I got a rerun, auto and core. Okay, that's done, let's exit. Okay, so now what we can do is check Vita shell. And here it should basically show us our memory size of UXO should be 100 and look at that. UXO is 119 gigabytes, guys. And you can see the 8 GB that I had before is UMAO. That's the memory card that's inside the system. So pretty good, pretty great. That's about it. And that is pretty much how you use an SD to Vita card adapter with 
your PS Vita. Again, now you can use any micro SD card that you want. You don't have to get tied down to their crappy expensive memory cards that Sony came out with. And micro SD will work just fine on this now. You can install all your games, your apps, whatever it is that you want on there. And now this guy's got 128 GB. And here's another cool thing. If you format another system in a similar way, you can actually swap cards out back and forth and use them on different devices without having to do anything except maybe a restart, that's about it. They just have to be running similar firmware and have the same architecture inside. So pretty much that's how you do it guys, pretty straightforward. Now again, remember, I've told you guys before in this video, but I'll say it again, in order for this to work, you need to have a Vita that is hacked. If you don't know how to do that, again, I put links in the description below. I'll put it again up here where you guys can go ahead and click and follow that tutorial. Now, one feedback I got from you guys on that tutorial was that a lot of you guys got stuck on trying to sign into PSN with those DNS server addresses. So for starters, guys, if you're getting stuck, I've told maybe 50 people in the comments on how to do this. There is a link in that video to a file called AutoH Encore. You're gonna to need to use that, read that instructions from beginning to end. It essentially bypasses that. I had the exact same issue as you. Yes, you, you who are watching with the same issue of not trying to sign in and keep getting an error and kicked out and you can't connect your video to the computer to do the next steps. I was in the same boat for a very long time. It's really easy once I figured out the fix. All you have to do is run auto hand core and follow the instructions from beginning to end. Follow every single line item. It's gonna tell you to power off your device. It's gonna tell you to turn it back on, do different different types of things with it, but it brute force has passed it and it always works. And every person I've told how to do it has had success with it as well. So if you have a Vita 3.68 and below, doesn't matter what firmware it is, follow that tutorial. It is 30 minutes long, but it will show you exactly how to hack it. And I also made another video on what you should do with a hacked Vita once it's hacked, because that's probably the biggest question is once you hack it, what do I do now? Anyways, hopefully this was helpful, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I like to do hacking stuff. I like to do all kinds of stuff, reviews, tech videos, builds on PCs, you pretty much name it. This channel's been around for a little bit of a while now, and we are getting started more and more and more every single time. So anyways, guys, as always, stay smiling. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments below and I will be there to help you guys as always. So until my next video, I will see you guys later.